all right what's going on guys this is a really rare set with the box i've already sold the box for three hundred dollars and one of the train cars for 150 and this set cost me four hundred dollars it was 50 percent off from 800 um so already breaking even on this set and the rest will be profit all right i'm looking around for more box sets and here i hit a jackpot this was on sale for about a little bit over 200 dollars for the set with the box and it sold pretty quickly for 1445 plus the buyer paid shipping so here we are putting everything in the car and uh yeah not to mention we found a ton of matchbox cars worth money in all these other cars all right this lamp here that we picked up we got it for 25 dollars julie found it and it sold for almost 500 dollars yeah, here I am just looking over the boxes, looking over the trains I got, and of course testing them out, which is really important. Alright, here we have a pretty cool car. That's uh, the car or parts on the side of the track that's actually an exploding uh, car that where you press the side of the train car it kind of like explodes it sets a spring up and uh, the sides go down and uh, the top of the car kind of like pops off so it's a pretty cool little little uh, train car here I am just testing more of these out I and mean, it's also a lot of fun so kind of making a night of it as I'm listing my items All right, guys, pretty happy with this set. Picked it up for 200 and something dollars. I, when I opened it up, it's actually brand new. So these are the Milwaukee Railroad uh, non-powered unit and a powered unit. So I'm not even gonna run them. Really, really cool set. And uh, yeah, ended up being brand new. Yeah, and that one sold as well. So 200 and something into 600 plus, pretty good flip. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Definitely a good day um, getting the trains out there. We also picked up a lot of other smaller items like Matchbox cars, some Hot Wheels, little things like that, but it wasn't just like, it wasn't as valuable. Um, so we sold a bunch of that already, but definitely uh, estate sales that have toys and collectible items from the 60s are my favorite to look out for. You can find some rare items there like we saw today. Uh, that I already sold. Now uh, let me show you a couple more things that I found actually today. All right, these are a couple things I picked up at Goodwill today. Um, usually new balances, if they're in really good condition, I pick them up. I mean, I should be able to get about at least $40 for this. So if I'm doubling my money, it's not too bad. Uh, $5 for the Spalding. It does need a cleaning, but I saw the pre-owned one sell for like 20, 20 to 30. So again, making a little bit of money here. This is a Nyland uh, golf car, and at only $4, I figured this would be a good buy. Um, if it has all the figures in it, they can go for $60, $70. I think even if I get $25, um, this would be a cool little item to display for golfers uh, in their collection. Um, picked up this kind of weathered um, vintage Adidas hat, and again, it has the logo on the back and the logo on the front, and... Uh, yeah, for two bucks, um, people like the whole kind of like faded look to it. So should be able to get 15 for something like that. Um, picked up, these are actually pretty rare shoes. They're handmade churches shoes, um, and they are created exclusively for churches. Um, just a classic kind of dress shoe. Um, might sit around for a while, but when the, something is like this, like high quality, um, handmade kind of shoes. I looked them up on eBay. They go for hundreds. 
So I should be able to get at least some, maybe 60 bucks for something like that. Um, picked up these Chinese hand therapy balls for $4 and I saw these sell for 20 plus. And this was the find of the day. These Sorel uh, women's leather boots, kind of like a nice stylish. I didn't even know Sorel made this kind of stylish shoe. And I told my friend uh, Robert, I was like, I've never even realized, like I never even would have looked and thought this was Sorel until I saw the little bear logo. But at $12.99, I saw pre-owned ones like these sell for $100 on eBay. This is a nice size eight and a half. So pretty cool. And then I picked up this little Santa toy, kind of getting ready for Christmas. If I find things at a couple bucks and it's a nice glass blown toy, I pick it up. So yeah, definitely a worth stopping in Goodwill today. Nice variety of stuff here. And uh, yeah, haven't made a video in a while. Um, kind of, we've been super busy. Uh, we went out to New Jersey, thrifted out there and did a bunch of stuff out there as well. And um, kind of getting back on track, listing every single day, trying to do 20 to 30 items per day. And uh, when I can, I'm gonna try to put a video out if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. It's really important for the algorithm. And we'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, let me know what kind of stuff you're finding if you're out there thrifting. Have you checked out garage sales? That's going to be my go-to this year because the prices at garage sales are way, way lower than Goodwills, Salvation Army, or anywhere else. So, yeah, a couple little finds today. And uh, going to go do my listings. Happy Friday night to everybody. And I'll see you guys in the next video.